The electric vehicle wave has been rolling for nearly a decade, but, you know, the excitement still isn't slowing down. And now Ford has thrown fuel on the fire. In a stunning announcement, Ford's CEO revealed a brand new lithium-ion phosphate battery that could last forever. Yes, a battery with no degradation. Sounds unreal, right? So, how is this even possible? And more importantly, when can everyday drivers finally replace their old batteries with this game-changing technology? What exactly are LFP batteries? If you've been following EV news or battery tech, you've probably seen the term lithium iron phosphate pop up everywhere. LFP batteries have suddenly become the new celebrity of the energy world, powering EVs, home backup systems, and even massive energy farms. But what sets them apart? LFP batteries are a special kind of lithium-ion battery. Instead of relying on metals like nickel or cobalt, they use lithium-ion phosphate in their cathodes. That small switch in chemistry creates a huge upgrade. These batteries are safer, cheaper to produce, and last much longer than traditional lithium-ion cells. It's no wonder giants like Ford, Tesla, and BYD are racing to put LFP into their cars. So, why is everyone obsessed with LFP batteries? If you've paid any attention to EVs or renewable energy lately, you'll notice one thing. LFP batteries are everywhere, and for good reason. They're quickly becoming the preferred choice for electric cars, solar homes, and even heavy-duty equipment. Their superpower is longevity. Traditional lithium-ion batteries made with nickel-manganese cobalt start to fade after a few thousand charging cycles. LFP batteries can handle 5,000 to 10,000 cycles with ease and some of the newest designs claim over 20,000 cycles. To put that into perspective, an electric car running on LFP could rack up over a million miles before you'd even notice performance slipping. That's why the industry is buzzing. Longer life, lower cost, safer chemistry. LFP isn't just another battery. It's a turning point. And with Ford now promising a version that doesn't degrade at all, the future of EVs might be arriving much faster than anyone expected. For consumers, this means no need to worry about expensive battery replacements after a few years. For industries that use battery storage for solar energy, this kind of longevity is a game chair. Once installed, these batteries require minimal maintenance and can function efficiently for decades. Ah, safety. It's such a crucial factor in battery technology. LFP batteries really shine here, outperforming traditional lithium-ion batteries. You see, standard lithium-ion batteries contain cobalt and nickel, materials that can overheat and, well, let's be honest, they're prone to thermal runaway. This kind of situation can lead to fires or even explosions if the battery gets damaged or overcharged. But LFP batteries, they're a different story. They're much more stable. They don't overheat as easily and they're far less likely to catch fire. Plus, they can handle high temperatures without significant performance loss. This makes them an ideal choice for electric vehicles, solar storage, and backup power systems where safety, as you might guess, is a top priority. Now let's talk about another major reason why LFP batteries are gaining traction cost-effectiveness. Traditional lithium-ion batteries rely on nickel and cobalt, which are expensive and difficult to mine, not to mention the ethical concerns, especially with cobalt mining in places like the Democratic Republic of Congo. On the flip side, LFP batteries use iron and phosphate. These materials are more abundant, easier to source, and more sustainable. As battery technology advances and production scales up, LFP batteries are becoming even more affordable. That's why major automakers like Tesla, Ford, and BYD are making the switch to LFP batteries. They're looking to cut down on the overall cost of EV production and make electric vehicles more accessible to a wider audience. But wait, there's more. LFP batteries aren't just great for cars. They're also widely used in home and industrial energy storage systems. You know, solar panels generate energy during the day, but without proper storage, that energy goes to waste when the sun isn't shining. LFP batteries offer an efficient and long-lasting solution for storing solar energy, ensuring a steady supply of power even at night or on cloudy days. These batteries have a longer lifespan, retain their storage capacity after thousands of cycles, and don't pose a fire risk. This makes them perfect for residential and commercial solar energy storage. That's why Tesla's Powerwall, BYD's home batteries, and many off-grid solar systems are now relying on LFP batteries. As the electric vehicle market continues to evolve, he said even with a distinct brand beating Chinese automakers on cost is difficult when their scale is five times larger than yours. 
Farley added BYD scale is now much larger than Tesla's. BYD created a critical technology, which is a better battery you can find. We see the Chinese as our primary competitor, not GM or Toyota, he explained. In the midst of the U.S.-China big tech hostilities, Ford's ambitions to partner with Chinese supplier Contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited, or known as CATL, the world's largest lithium-ion battery producer have caused some consternation in the U.S. government. Big Tech Hostilities The new battery plant, which will cost $3.5 billion, is set to open in Michigan in 2026. It will manufacture lithium phosphate batteries rather than the more expensive Nico Cobalt batteries. Republican Senator Marco Rubio sponsored legislation in March that would prohibit tax subsidies for EV batteries built with Chinese technology. He also asked that the Biden administration look into Ford's agreement to employ cattle technology. Ford plans to produce six 000 electric vehicles per year by late 2023 and more than 2 million by the end of 2026. Ford has announced that Cattle will offer entire LFP battery packs for Mustang Mach-E models in North America beginning later this year, and for F-150 Lightnings beginning in early 2024. Winners in the supply chain Ford's goal of producing 2 million EVs per year by 2026 will necessitate a substantial amount of materials critical to battery production. It recently struck four arrangements to ensure lithium supplies, including a long-term agreement with Nemasket Lithium for about 13000 tons of lithium hydroxide over an 11-year period. The agreement is likely to provide Ford customers with tax benefits under the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. There will be winners and losers in the supply chain stated Farley at the meeting. Lithium is critical. You have to have the best product strategy, but if you don't control the supply chain, you won't win. He remarked of Ford's ESG plan, it's a very complicated supply chain. It will be difficult to declare hand on heart, we're good, but I believe we have as excellent a procedure as anyone in the industry, but it will require physical oversight. He went on to say that Ford was one of the first firms to develop a sustainability policy and that as a family-owned business, having a strong ESG strategy and ensuring best practices were implemented was the right thing to do. With the development of electric vehicles, it is inevitable that the need for batteries will also increase. But did you know that there are other battery? Alternatives such as solid-state batteries. Is it better and has potential for the EV world? Check out our video that will explain further about how this battery could change the EV's industry.